Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a tutorial on the Matter Fabricator. This is a pretty, pretty awesome piece of kit from GregTech, but it can be quite challenging to use, uh, especially with regards to powering it. So what I have in here are the ingredients to make it. First of all, you will need these things, energy flow circuits. They can be made using this method, but that requires an iridium plate, so that's quite expensive. But uh, yeah, there are two ways of making them, but it does make four. But yeah, the other way is a bit cheaper if you have shiny and platinum, uh, which is energy flow circuits. So we can do it that way, which is the way that I did it in my Let's Play, if you've seen that. So let's make four of these. And we also need to make two teleporters. This is the recipe. It's fairly straightforward if, you, if you're familiar with Feed the Beast and its mods. So you need to make two of these. And did I... did I do... yeah, I did. <laughs> right. Then we need to make two teleport... Uh, two um, highly advanced machine blocks. One, two. And last but not least, we need to make the main component, the Lapatronic Energy Orb which is an iridium plate surrounded by eight Lapatron crystals. So, not that cheap by any means. And so we place the recipe like so, and we have ourselves a matter fabricator. And as you can see in here, I've been playing around with how to power it. So let's come out here. First of all, we come to a nuclear reactor set up with this setup. Uh, I got this off a YouTube video. I don't know if it's the most effective way, but it was made about two months ago, so I'm hoping that it's quite up to date. They're quad uranium cells, which are made using this method. Uh, re enriched uranium cells, yeah, you can get from. Well, uranium cells is what you want. You can get from centrifuging uranium dust, which you get from macerating uranium. Like so. So, yeah, this method, it works, but it's not enough. Uh, you need more than one reactor. So if we turn this on, you'll see that the power level goes up, but it's immediately consumed by the matter fabricator. So, and yeah, and this progress bar doesn't advance at all. Um, at least I think it should, but anyway. You'll need at least two or three uh, nuclear reactors just to power this, and to have enough energy for the rest of your components. And if we head over here, we have our advanced solar panel setup. This is 64 advanced solar panels, which until recently would have actually been really, really useful and viable. Because the recipe, which is this, had an advanced machine block here instead of the irradiant reinforced plate. But as of the recent update to the Minecraft pack and Greg Tech mod, you now need uh, Scenarium, which is made with UU matter. So you have to have a matter fabricator to begin with and powering it some other way. Uh, and you also need reinforced iridium ion plate, which is made with iridium ion. These things aren't too bad, the carbon plates and advanced alloys, but the iridium ion plate requires a bar of iridium. And that's not the, the cheapest thing in the world. So yeah, it requires iridium now to make these things, instead of to daytime. And the 64 solar panels only work during the day. And, just to cap it off, they only keep it level. So this is producing just as much EU per tick as the matter fabricator can consume. And it doesn't seem to like thorium dust. I was told it... Oh, actually... It did use one. Yeah, if there's scrap in the matter fabricator, it won't use the thorium dust. So you need to have only thorium dust in here. And this is made by macerating forsicium. And it gives you... Uh, does it say... Uses. It gives you 500,000, I believe. Yeah, there you go. 500,000 for thorium dust, whereas scrap gives you. Oops. Yeah, scrap gives you. Let's have a look here. Gives you fifth. Gives you 5,000. So it's a factor of a hundred times better, and it's fairly easy to get if you have a turtle or a quarry or something going. But it is a uh, yeah. It is good. So yeah, this is a stack of solar panels, so you need a stack of iridium bars, which means you need nine stacks of iridium nug nuggets, and therefore nine stacks of platinum dust, which is extremely expensive. Uh, but if you have a grinder, an industrial grinder, 
then if you put mercury cells and a uh, what's it called ferrous ore in there you get one platinum dust but don't use water because then you get one tiny pile of platinum dust so you're so you're saving yourself three ferrous ores per one if you make it using mercury cells. This is the solar panel setup. It's the cheaper option, but as you can see, it is humongous, and you need a lot of them. I haven't even counted these. And this is just about keeping level. It's it's you wouldn't be able to power anything else with this, uh, but it does work to a certain extent. Uh, but it's not. I wouldn't advise it at all because this is ridiculous. So. To cap it off, in terms of saving space and in terms of not using iridium, I'd say make two or three nuclear reactors and obviously that comes with its safety precautions and other mods and things that you can use like nuclear control and various setups like reinforced stone or whatever to protect it. But I reckon these ingredients aren't too bad to make. They're a little bit annoying because they don't stack and they use a lot of copper which nowadays is a bit rarer to get because they've been changed so that they only really appear at level 14 above or 13 above so uh, sorry what am I saying uh, 15 above so yeah you really need to have like turtles or a quarry at a high level to get copper now and uh, yeah these things consume a lot of tin a lot of copper uh, let's have a look at these quickly this is tin helium cells are made in a centrifuge with glowstone or endstone uh, quadranium cells we've already looked at, dense copper ores compressing 8 copper and these things, there's gold, reactor heat vent, reactor heat vents are more copper and a normal heat vent which is iron bars and reinforced, uh, ref refined iron which is not too bad for them, oops, didn't want to do that uh, but yeah, this is it's quite expensive in terms of copper and tin but not so much in terms of iridium and like advanced things so to recap, uh, we've gone through the ingredients of how to make a matter fabricator and three methods of how to power it one which is advisable which is the nuclear reactor despite it being a nuclear reactor secondly the advanced solar panels which only work during the day and will drain out and not work during the night unless you have eight stacks of these which is a lot because uh, uh, yeah they, they produce eight EU a tick each and then during the night it goes down to one so you're yeah you're by a factor of uh, eight, I guess. Uh, you're reducing your production of EU, which is uh, not advisable. What happens if I put scrap in here? Nothing. Okay, it is actually using the thorium. That's good. So yeah, uh, let's make sure actually this is this keeping stable. Yeah, it is. Okay, thorium doesn't use any less EU, it seems. Yeah, and then the third and final method, uh, which I've demonstrated here, is the solar panels setup, which is probably, I wager a guess, at something like. 30 stacks of solar panels. That's just a guess though, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't counted. But at least one of these is 12. Is it 12? Yeah, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 200 solar panels. That's, that's a lot. Uh, no, yeah, not, a, not a, like a 15 stacks or whatever I said, yeah, like 200 to 250 solar panels. But yeah, they do work, just very slowly. This one works, but only during the day. And the nuclear reactor works at all times, but you need to make at least two or three of them. So yeah, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you have any questions, then please feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.